everyone and welcome to the Dentist Hub. Today's video is about Dentinogenesis Imperfecta which is one of the important questions in oral pathology. Dentinogenesis Imperfecta is an autosomal dominant condition affecting both deciduous and permanent teeth. The affected teeth are grey to yellowish brown in color and they have broad crowns with constriction of the cervical area resulting in a tulip flower shape. In the radiographic picture, the teeth appear solid and lack pulp chambers and root canals. Enamel is easily broken leading to exposure of dentin that undergoes accelerated attrition. Dentinogenesis imperfecta is known to have caused due to mutation of chromosome number 4. It encodes a protein called dentinxylophosphoprotein. It is broadly classified into Dentinogenesis imperfecta 1, which is Dentinogenesis imperfecta without osteogenesis imperfecta, and Dentinogenesis imperfecta 2, which is brandywine type of Dentinogenesis imperfecta. Coming to the clinical features of each of these types, Dentinogenesis imperfecta 1 is caused due to deficiency of dentin xylophosphoprotein. Teeth are blue grey or amber brown in color and are opalescent. Bulbous crowns are seen and roots are narrower than normal. Pulp chambers and root canals are smaller than normal or completely obliterated. The enamel may split readily from dentin when subjected to occlusal stress. Dentinogenesis imperfecta 2 is caused due to deficiency of dentin phosphoprotein and dentin xyloprotein. The color of dentin is amber and is smooth. There are multiple pulp exposures, normal non-mineralized pulp chambers and canals and a general appearance of shell teeth. Large pulp chambers and root canals are present. Attrition of teeth due to fractured enamel is seen in dentinogenesis imperfecta too. Coming to the histological features, it is a mesodermal disturbance and dentin is composed of irregular tubules often with large areas of uncalcified matrix. Tubules tend to be larger in diameter and in some areas there may be complete absence of tubules. Cellular inclusions are also common. The chemical and physical features seen in this condition are Water content is greatly increased as much as 60% above normal. The inorganic content is less than that of normal dentin. The density, x-ray absorption and hardness of the dentin are also low. Coming to the treatment of dentinogenesis imperfecta, the loss of enamel and subsequent loss of dentin through attrition has to be prevented. Cast metal crowns on the posterior teeth and jacket crowns on the anterior teeth are recommended. The use of partial appliances which exert stress on the teeth has to be done carefully because it may lead to fracture of roots. The fillings are not usually permanent because of the softness of dentin. Thank you for watching. Do like the video if you found it informative, share it with your friends and subscribe to the Dentist Hub for more updates.